Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna look at example two from the 2.3, 2.4 notes on product and quotient rule. So in this situation, we're given a function, one plus three sine x times two x squared minus cosine x. So we can see that the form of this function is a product. We have a function one plus three sine x times two x squared minus cosine x. So we're going to use the product rule. All right, so use the product rule. So let's write that out. So the derivative here with respect to x of f is going to equal the derivative of that first function, 1 plus 3 sine x. times the second function, 2x squared minus cosine x, plus the first function, 1 plus 3 sine x, times the derivative of that second function, 2x squared minus cosine x, with respect to x. So it's really helpful to write out the steps when you're computing the product rule or computing the derivative with quotient rule because it can really help to keep things organized and not combine any terms too, too early. So let's take a look at computing the derivative of each part. So derivative of one plus three sine x, so we have a sum here, so we can take derivative of each term. So what does that look like? Derivative of one is just zero. Then we have derivative of three sine x. So three is a constant, so it just comes out. Derivative of sine of x is cosine x. And we saw that in the last part of the last video. So the zero, we don't need to include. So we really just have three cosine x here. Now, derivative of this second part is gonna be Derivative of this first term, 2x squared. So that 2 comes down. So we get 2 times 2 times x. And then our exponent is 2 minus 1, which is just 1. And then minus derivative of cosine. So recall derivative of cosine is negative sine. So with that extra negative, this becomes a positive, And we get positive sine x. OK, so now let's go ahead and rewrite this to clean it up a bit. So this is equal to three cosine x times two x squared minus cosine x. Remember to keep all of your parentheses. Plus one plus three sine x times, the two times two gives us a four x plus sine x. Awesome. So now we've computed the derivatives within each part. So we have no more derivatives we need to take. So this is our final answer. Now, something like this, you might think that we want to clean it up a bit. And we can think if first or think through how that would look. So we see that we have a cosine. So we're going to bang the cosine into each term here. We have a sine. Oh, but we have a sum, double sum. So we need to FOIL this out. So if we do expand both of these sides or multiply both sides out, well, we're going to be left with cosine squared, sine squared, sines. So there's not going to be a lot of terms that combine or cancel. So this is perfectly fine as our final answer. All right, great work on that. Feel free to rewatch the video and maybe try doing this derivative again on your own and then watching again to compare. 